Red flag that I seen a guy is having a mom and even worse having a sister. Damn. You want me to be an orphan? Well, unfortunately, I have both a mom and a sister. Oh, wow. Do you have any aunts? Three. Wow. Is your grandma still alive? Um, one of them's gone. Yeah. The other one's still here. Yeah. All right. Bruh. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome. Back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. And I'm sorry, man. I had to laugh, bro, because it's like, damn, bro. You can't even have a family anymore, bro. But I think I know why she kept referencing women in particular, man. Because I, I want to check out the comments, man. Check this out. Red flag is the butterfly tattoo. Oh, talking about the butterfly tattoo on her arm. Okay. Red flag having a family. <laughs> Said she is a red flag. Yeah, I agree. Dude said red flag, butterfly tattoo, no lips. Ooh, he, that was a shot. Uh, spray on tan, vape in the pocket, and a rock on the necklace. Yeah, she had all that. So she the real red flag. Honestly, do people listen to what they say lately? She is the red flag. Where is the ick list guy? <laughs> she just scared she can't win their approval for real. Nah, red flag is getting out of hand. I agree. Her issue is that she won't be able to, to manipulate you if your mom and sisters are around. There it is. I was wondering if somebody else was going to think that. I think that's the reason why she was asking those questions, man. Ooh, we, man. Let's continue. On to the next clip. I think a red flag that's not talked about enough is men who boohoo cry at their weddings. Just when I thought the internet couldn't get any more toxic, there's more. Why are you crying that hard? Like, all that tells me is that you did some shasty stuff during the whole relationship, and you literally cannot believe that this girl is still choosing to marry you. That so men can only cry tears of guilt at their wedding now instead of tears of joy? Is that for real? And if a man is actually crying at her wedding, that means that he's done something sketchy or inappropriate, or he's probably cheating on her? Or whatever she considers shysty shit. What is that? Like, I'm just thinking about it. Imagine being her man at the altar and you're standing there like, please don't cry too much. Please don't cry too much. She's going to get the ick if I cry too much. Like, I don't want to boohoo cry. I just, I just need to cry a little bit. Because if I over cry, she's going to think it's a red flag. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Men literally can't win. They're told all the time to show emotion. And then when they show emotion, women come on the internet and say ridiculous things like this. Like it's a red flag. And he feels guilty and not joy at his own wedding. And just imagine for a moment that men made videos saying that women can't cry at their proposals or at their weddings because they're cheating. Or they're doing something inappropriate. This whole video is giving, I don't know how to choose men properly and men have never cried over me. So I'm jealous about the men that cry over their women because I've never experienced it myself. This video is giving unhealed trauma and projection and somebody that doesn't know how to have any type of emotional intelligence and doesn't even want partners that have emotional intelligence. But not only that, it also makes me feel like I need the dude that writes down the icks um, when he sees videos like this and this needs to be added, but also additionally, it's making me feel like I need to stay off the internet from now on because this is just outlandish. Okay, bye. <laughs> it guy, man, where are you at, bro? I'm like, that, that's two videos in and everybody asking about you, man. Yeah, because these red, these red flags are getting out of hand, man. I'm like, and just... And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, man, <laughs> wait, wait till you show, wait till I show you this video of this guy that was interviewing a bunch of what looks to be college girls. But you know how Gen Z get down. Wait till y'all see this. Check this out. What's your biggest ick in a guy? He's too short. If you're ugly in the face, you got crooked teeth. Um, if you're too sassy, uh, if you don't eat. I don't know. There's a lot. 
This is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. What's yeah, because out of everything that she mentioned, the only one that I can get with is the crooked straight teeth, you know, for obvious reasons, because even I had to... <laughs> Even I had to get the get mine together, you feel me? But yeah. Um outside of that, everything else, for the most part, either you can't control or it's just a manipulation tactic used against you to, so that way you can operate exactly the way she wants you to. Let's keep it moving. It's like the most like random one. If you don't eat What? You yes, gotta not. eat your Yes he do. You like your Yeah, I do. You be eating ass. Yes, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> What is your big what? She belongs to the streets. Biggest ick when it comes to a guy. A small damn. When they make TikToks. Hold up. Wait a minute. What if it's like an interview TikTok? Still kind of an ick. Just any boy on TikTok. Come on now, dog. Oh uh, damn this. Now that one, bro. That that's just stupid. Any any boy on TikTok, ma'am. It's probably hundreds if not thousands of women on tiktok that got thousands of followers only for the way that they look and the fact that they show their body and twerk on fucking social media all day who the fuck do you think they followers are good god man let's keep it moving because it's like y'all <laughs> <laughs> but like you try to be like social media like you dumb into it like you do like the questions you you make the reels like yeah i'm knowing i just can't have nobody with like a od social media presence like what if they make a million a year i'll let it slide got them we got them i got a whole list you have a list what the <laughs> no this is ridiculous I got list. I co -sign that <laughs> smile and snapchats Take selfies, hairy chest, smoke swishes, are an entrepreneur. <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. The only good one I see in here is don't work out. See, now I got an ick now because one of my icks is guys who are obsessed with working out. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. What's your you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. Get the French toast out of here. You must unlearn what you have learned. Your biggest ache when talking to a guy. Good morning, sleepyhead. You don't like they wish you good morning. The cringy ass words like sleepyhead. Like, mm. My biggest ache is saying the word haram. I think that's like disgusting. I beg your pardon. What if they're Islamic? Well, then that's that. I'm Islamic too. But don't say haram. Fair enough. It's weird. What is your biggest ache when talking to a guy? My biggest ick is when they are like call you like baby girl, like they're oh my god, I love you so much when you first start talking. That's right. so I can't do that. Definitely too much attention. Like that's annoying. You don't like attention? I mean I like attention, but like if you're on my all the time, go away. Either when they too quick or when they're really bad at basketball. What? Because like if you can't shoot a hoop, like that's a basic thing people can do even true. if they don't play. So if you can't do that, you gotta go. What is your biggest ick in a guy? When they're like really, really mean to me and then they're super nice because they want Do you be giving them s No comment. <laughs> got him. She belongs to the streets. Got him. What is your biggest ick when talking to a guy? If their teeth aren't pretty. If you're trying to see me 24-7. I don't like it. People trying to see you 24-7? Yes. I was, I was gonna say teeth too. Teeth. Uh, yeah, definitely teeth. Ugly teeth. When his breath sinks. When he orders the fish fillet from McDonald's. <laughs> Just can't even eat fish fillet now. No, not from McDonald's. We can't even eat a fish fillet sandwich. No. What is your biggest ick in a guy? We have a whole list. Talk to me. Uh, here we go again. I hate bad drivers. Like as a man, if you uh -huh. can't drive a car well. Okay. Horrible. Hate that. Off rip, like looking at them, like bad style is ick. What is like bad style to you, like, especially like out here? Nine inch shorts. Those are bad. Knock Nine it off. What is your biggest ick in a guy? When they get out the car and you see their, their butt crack. When they see the butt crack? Yeah, 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 yeah. It made you vomit? It made me just want to leave right away. I mean, like butt cracks in general, like she said, and also like insecurity, like all, like always insecure for no reason. Too much insecurity. How often are you guys seeing butt cracks? It's pretty common, you know? Hey yo, what the f When he gets embarrassed easily. Huh? You gotta have no shame. Like, you gotta be like ready to do dumb shit all the time. Existing. Existing. <laughs> 
Come on now. That's how I feel? You're disgusted in men. So do you like you women now? I don't got a type. I don't like people. <laughs> Emotional damage. Yeah, but judging from what I just saw, was fat back there? I can see why she get a lot of attention from men, and she probably getting the wrong kind of attention due to the way she dressed and the way she shaped. That's why she has so much misandry towards men. But I digress, cause it gets even worse, you guys. It gets even worse. We got a man over here yelling out red flags for a man and y'all won't believe what this red flag is about man check this out from a man bro man over the age of 30 years old who's single with no kids is a big red flag fellas please listen to me hi my name is raven and i want a red flag really hope this man is trolling right now because ain't no way that you say a man that is conscious of the financial burden of a child conscious of the fact that he may not even want a child and protects himself and has safe sex is a red flag. A man with discipline will always be a turn on for a woman like me. I can go on and on on why a man that is disciplined and knows his worth and knows that maybe he's possibly one to have kids with his wife is a great catch and a rare catch, but I'm curious to know what you think that red flag may be. Is your thought process, oh no, he doesn't have kids, he might be crazy. Because ladies, how many men we know that got hella kids, crazy as fuck? Or is it, oh, he doesn't have kids, so he must not be financially stable. Because again, ladies, how many broke niggas got about five or six kids right now? Or maybe you're thinking he doesn't have kids because he doesn't want to give up his single lifestyle. He doesn't want to put anybody else before him or he's just not ready to be settled down sitting at home with the kids. A kid. His kid. But again, ladies and gentlemen, how many men you know put their kids first? How many men you know are sitting at home with their kids? How many men you know are actually fully in their child's life? There are a lot, but I would argue that a lot of y'all that's watching this video, some of y'all didn't even have y'all father in the life. So that is not going to stop a man from having a baby or wanting to have a baby. The only thing that will stop a man from wanting to have a baby or having a baby is not wanting to have a baby. Period. Being responsible. And there is nothing wrong with a man that is responsible enough to say, I don't want one or I'm not ready for one or I can't financially carry the burden of a child because they are a financial burden. Not saying that the child all in all is a burden, but things cost money. Kids are an unexpected bill. And just what if, what if he just don't want kids? There are some men that just don't want kids. Just like there are some women that just don't want kids. Our life work isn't to create all the time. Some people, some people, some people have other goals in mind. And I suggest, sir, you quit projecting, okay? Because I'm going to go find me a red flag, okay? I right? I want a red flag right now. <laughs> yeah this might be one of the few times where you want a red flag and i've seen that brother before too man and i would have never expected him to have that kind of take on men without children especially men over 30 because first of all man most men don't hit their financial stride till they get in their 40s and 50s anyway so what sense does it make for a man to have children and, and struggle financially at the same time that's stupid like this is one of the reasons why so many families are struggling with kids now because they didn't wait to have kids they had kids before they got their shit together and now you want to sit over here and say it's a red flag for men to wait till they got their shit together to have children uh, you stupid yeah it's just not the women out here giving bad advice man there's some guys out here doing it as well man uh now i'm not gonna sit over here and act like i'm perfect but damn it i highly doubt i've ever said some stupid shit like that on my channel um, especially especially somebody that's 38 and childless myself but anyway let me know what y'all thought about this man 
If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description as well as my latest mixtape, Neo Trap Volume 1. And if you want to purchase any other merch, the Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.